Yo, Sean, what is it? I said astigmatism in my soul. Yo, y'all, what's up, man? Y'all can see a nigga and shit? Make sure I got this shit back. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, man? What's up? Hey, man, what's up, man? Welcome to the, I'm the window cleaner with soul, man. Welcome to the window cleaner with soul show. It's the only place on the planet you're gonna see a motherfucking window cleaner with soul. What's up? You know me, man, you're gonna see me, you know I'll be on these windows, man. Y'all know what it is. Share this video right now. If after the end of the video, you like the video, hit the like button. If after the end of the video, you don't like it, you ain't gotta hit the like button. You get a motherfucker thumbs down, I don't care. Don't matter to me. But listen, man, today, man, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about entrepreneurship, man. Entrepreneurship, if you look that word up in a dictionary, like if you take your lazy ass to a motherfucking dictionary, the book, a lot of you millennials don't even know what the book is. It's a book, you open it up and then you look for the word entrepreneur. A lot of you motherfuckers just type the shit into Google now, you so motherfucking lazy. An entrepreneur, the definition is one who assumes the risk of a business venture. One who assumes the risk of a business venture. What's up, man? I did the inside already. Yo, this is my studio, this is my studio. This is one of my studios right here. I already cleaned the inside. I already cleaned the inside, it's just, uh, I just gotta hit the outside. Yo, share this video, man. Share this video. Good morning. Bye. Look at that shit right there, man. This shit gleaming, man. Nice. This shit clean, Sean. So listen, man. Hold on, let me get this window. Because if we leave this shit on here too long, it'll dry up. So, entrepreneurship, right? Everybody ain't cut out to be no entrepreneur. Everybody wants the life of an entrepreneur. Everybody wants the financial rewards of an entrepreneur. Everyone wants the freedom of an entrepreneur. Everyone wants the options and choices and liberty of an entrepreneur. Everybody wants the potential to get rich like an entrepreneur, but most motherfuckers ain't ready to do what entrepreneurs do in order to bring about those circumstances in their life. Number two, most some motherfuckers just ain't got the entrepreneurship skills to be an entrepreneur, man. To be, to be, to be self-motivated, to be, self-directed to be disciplined right to to hustle to self-promote to you know take care of business man to be able to because with entrepreneurship not only do you not only do you have to go out and sell to get business but you have to also, there's a back office function, man. You gotta follow up on phone calls. You gotta pay the bills. You gotta write checks. Um, 
you gotta, you know, make sure your regulatory situation is handled, depending upon what business you in. There's, there's a back office function, and then there's the outward function of selling the retail part. And you gotta be able to do both, man. Everybody ain't cut out for that, you understand? Most of, some people mostly are just gonna be slaves, man, your whole life. You just gonna work for a motherfucker your whole life. You just gonna be a slave. And just be, be satisfied with being a slave. And don't hate on the nigga that's an entrepreneur that's assuming the risk of a business venture, right? My man Alicio, my man Alicio from Guatemala, yeah. Don't, don't hate on the motherfucker that's doing entrepreneurship shit. That's rising, that's elevating, that's living the life that he want to live, that's creating the circumstances he wants to have in his life. And you scared to do it. You just scared. You just scared. So, you know, shout out to the entrepreneurs, man. You know, and, and, and um, y'all see Sean back there getting his work out in. Get off that thing. Come here, come here, man, come here. Listen, man. Don't you never work for nobody, man. This is America, man. This is America. It's not good to work for Be quiet and listen to what I'm telling you. Don't work for nobody. You ain't got to work for no man. I ain't worked for nobody in goddamn 19 years. Because ain't no man. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. I ain't never seen no man on this planet or woman better than me. Nowhere. And I done been... Africa, I've been to South America, all through the Caribbean, all over America, and I ain't been to Europe and Asia yet, but I know for a fact there ain't nobody over there better than me neither. Ain't nobody that I've ever seen, come here, and that you're gonna ever see that's better than your dad. Except but there's one person, there's one person that got me beat by a long shot, man. This person is way better than me, man. Who is that? That's you, man. You got me beat by a long shot, man. So don't you never work for nobody, man. No white man, no black man, no goddamn Chinese man, no nobody, man. You work for yourself. But I'm gonna have it set up for you. You gonna be all right. But you always work for yourself. Don't be no slave. This is America. You supposed to be able to come here and do what you wanna do. This is the land of opportunity, man. The United States of America is the land of opportunity. And if you ain't out here grasping the opportunity, going for the opportunity, that's your fault. Yo, Sean, what is it, man? I said a stigmatism in my soul. I ain't got to say no more. Hey.